Hi, I'm Frank. I live in Queens, New York. I'm a lifelong Republican from a long line of Republicans on my dad's side. My mom currently serves as a Republican mayor in a small town in rural Tennessee, and my sister worked on the W campaign. I've been a registered Republican since I could vote at 18, and now I'm a progressive Republican, which might put me at odds with whatever the GOP is. This year, I volunteered on the Bill Weld campaign as a primary challenger to Trump. I will not be voting for Donald Trump. I didn't vote for him last time, and I won't be this time. He's passed a record low number of bills, and the ones he has are completely atrocious. When it comes to global diplomacy, well, what can I say? He's a joke without a punchline. Setting the norms for our culture is perhaps where he's done the most damage. He ran on calling Mexicans rapists, so it should be no surprise to find that we have refugee children who are literally dying in U.S. custody at a southern border. Let that sink in. Law-abiding children who are legally applying for asylum are dying. Or how about we talk the neo-Nazi rally where he said, there are good people on both sides. Good people on both sides? There's no middle ground with Nazis. We fought the war and spoiler, we won. So across the board, Trump has been a catastrophic failure. The question is, will he be a one-term travesty or a two-term catastrophe? Look, I'm not excited about Joe Biden. The fact that there were 24 candidates in the Democratic primary and y'all came out with Joe is stupefying. I'm about as excited as Joe Biden as I am a root canal. Joe Biden is like pleated khakis on a humid summer day in 2020 when nobody wears pleated khakis anymore. Joe Biden is the ketchup packet in your kitchen drawer that you don't think you'll ever actually use, but you don't want to toss it because you think you might need it one day. Well, guess what, folks? It's ketchup packet time. We need Joe Biden to win this election. He's not my first choice, but he's in the driver's seat and he's the one who's to be able to push Trump out of the White House. Trump lacks character. He lacks the moral imagination to envision a better America. He serves only himself and America deserves better. So come November, let's show up for Joe Biden. Hell, if Joe Biden is a root canal, sometimes you need a root canal. You're not gonna like it, but maybe the pain will stop when it's over. Do the right thing, cross over the line and vote for Joe Biden this one time this November. Lest history be unkind to us all.